Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you how you can create some realistic looking glitter confetti like this in Spark AR. The first thing we have to do is to add a particle system to our scene. So now we will see this in our viewport. They are already animated that um, emitting some particles upwards, but we don't want this. We want to face it downwards. So set the rotation, um, the set from 0 to 180 and now the particles are moving downwards, but they are emitting from one point. So set the type from um, point to line and set the length to 0 0.3 that it covers the um, yeah, whole screen. But uh, at the moment are emitting from the middle, just drag and drop the emitter up to the top. So now they are starting from the top. But they are disappearing here. So go to the particle settings and set the lifespan of the particles from 0 0.4 to, uh, yeah, let's say six seconds. So they are moving from the top all the way down to the bottom but at the moment they are moving really fast that don't look so real so set the speed of the um, particles from 0 0.2 to 0 0.1 now they are moving um, slower and I think this looks more real but of course you can play around with those values until you like it so let's give this um, particles some color I will create a material and now this is really important set the shader type from standard to physically based so I will do some gold confetti so I will do this specific color code but of course you can play around with those color to achieve the look you want after we have created the material just go to the emitter and set the material and set the material to the material we have just created now there are some there are a lot of gold squares that are falling down and they are, don't look um, like confetti at all. So let's do some tweaks here. Open the particle um, section of the emitter and disable billboarding to enable those values here. After you have disabled it, you will have access to the angular velocity and to the rotation. So now I will set all three um, axes to 200 and you will see the particles are going to spin around also set the degrees here from 0 to um, about 90 for x and y and minus 50 for the z axis but you also can play around here until you like it at the moment the confetti are really big ones so i will turn down the scale from 0 0.01 to 0 0.00 now they are much smaller but not glittering at all so go back to your material you have created and then go to the surface parameters the, these are only available when you set the shader type to physically based so I will set the metallic to 90% the roughness to 40% and the occlusion strength to 100% and now they are already glittering, but they are not looking real because when they don't face to the um, lights in the scene, they are just black. So let's change that. At first we have to delete the directional light of the scene so we can add more of our point lights we want to include into the scene. I will create four of those, so just copy and paste them. We can't do more because when we do more than four, we will get this error message. So make sure you just make four of them. Now they are all at the same point and you will see the um, confetti are lightening up when they are getting closer to the point light. So just take the point lights and variate the position of them so they are all over the scene so the particles are catching more lights from all directions so now they are glittering more but there is one last thing i want to change here because at the moment the contrast between the dark side and the brighter side of the confetti is pretty intense to lower that contrast go to your ambient light and set the intensity up to 80 or 100 percent to lower the contrast here and now I think 
the confetti is looking pretty good and we are done with this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it and i hope i could help you with your spark ar project if yes um, give this video a thumbs up and if you don't want to miss my next videos here on this channel subscribe to it yeah thanks for watching and see you in the next video bye